I am just making a quick video today on removing the handbrake uh, caliper from uh, back of a Aston Martin uh, Vantage V8 Vantage uh, 2006 model. Um, I did try this yesterday. Uh, did a little bit of reading because the trying to actually remove the whole caliper seemed to be a real pain in the backside. These the retaining bolts the caliper you can see them kind of there and there were a real real pig to get off um, once once I actually did manage to remove those yesterday the next struggle was actually just trying to take the caliper off of the disc where where the disc is lipped um, because you need to wind back the piston of the handbrake caliper that actually makes it really difficult to get out so I read a couple of articles online that suggested just forcing the caliper off using like a, a tire lever but at the same time because of the the lipping on the disc it will probably knacker the brake pads so um, you need to replace the brake pads um, as well then I read a little bit more and uh, I've just done the other side just to see how it works. Uh, uh, this, this actually works very well. The suggestion was just actually to remove the, or to split the caliper, uh, because these bolts are a lot easier to get undone. So I did pre loosen these because I'm just trying to do this one handed while recording. Um, you'll need a T50 Torx head and these should come undone. So I, uh, I'm gonna stop recording the boring bit and I'll carry on in a second. Right, so we have uh, bolt out. Uh, I'm done. I don't know if it's gonna make a lot of difference, but I did spray um, just a tiny touch of this on the guide pins on the uh, both sides. The caliper had read that the caliper can get, uh, well the pins can get quite seized and there can be a pain in the, the back side also to get out. But if it's anything like the other side, this should come off relatively easily. So um, that seems to be a lot quicker way. Now we can get the, if you're replacing the discs like I'm uh, planning to, you can just pop the disc off without actually having to remove the whole brake caliper. Um, I'm gonna f fast forward a bit to popping the discs off. There's plenty of other videos that um, cover, taking off, cover taking off the uh, main caliper um, and the disc itself. The piston on the handbrake caliper is a, is a wind back style and uh, if you haven't got a wind back tool it shouldn't be a problem I have read that you can just do it with a pair of needle nose pliers in this case um, which I know has already worked I will get the disc off and then I will just show you that bit um, hopefully this will save you a bit of time right in this step we have the main caliper off now so the disc is just uh, exposed I would say free to come off but it's probably going to be quite well stuck on. Um, uh, I was reading a good few wallops with a hammer. I actually used um, a spring compressor um, to try and wind out the, the two uh, blocks of it. One wedged against the disc uh, just to kind of force it off rather than having to wallop it with a hammer, which seemed to work. So we'll get the disc off and then we can show you the other side of the handbrake caliper. Now we have the old disc off and we should be able to move the pad out of the way. The caliper is a little bit stuck in there but Pad is out. And the 
because the new disc will be a bit bigger than the old disc, we just need to wind the caliper back in, which you can see we can just do with a pair of needle nose pliers. Um, it's, it's a little bit stiff, but easier operation trying to separate the caliper than it is trying to get these two bolts out. So before putting the uh, caliper and the, the discs, uh, new disc back on, um, I thought I'd show just put a little bit of, uh, really see that, a little bit of copper grease uh, just on the edges of the old pad. Cleaned up where there was um, a bit of residue of uh, dust and corrosion on the caliper and new one. Yeah, it should slide in fairly easily. So we just want to try and keep that roughly in line with where the guide pins are gonna go. Uh, now we're ready to clean up the hub and pop the new disc on. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. I'm going to do the same on the other side of the caliper, just give it a bit of a clean up, slide the pad back in, and uh, that should be it. Uh, job done. Hope you found that um, helpful to save a bit of time with battling on the rear handbrake calipers.